World donors on Wednesday pledged to provide 15.2 billion U.S. dollars to support Afghanistan's development priorities over the next four years at a two-day conference held in Brussels. The conference on Afghanistan brings together leaders from over 70 countries worldwide, 20 international organizations and agencies, and a vast range of stakeholders. Kate Parkinson reports from Brussels. Led by the United Nations and the European Union, more than 70 governments have promised more financial support for Afghanistan. $15 billion of new aid will flow into the war-ravaged country. But the international donors stressed that Afghanistan's leaders must focus on ending the war with Taliban insurgents. There is a path forward towards an honorable end to the conflict that the Taliban have waged. It is a conflict that cannot and will not be won on the battlefield. A political settlement negotiated with the Afghan government is the only way to end the fighting, ensure lasting stability, and achieve a full drawdown, ultimately, of international military forces, which is their goal. On the margins of the conference, the EU has focused on getting peace negotiations back on track, with Afghanistan's regional neighbors playing a key role. On Tuesday night, the bloc's foreign policy chief, Federica Mogherini, brought together the US, China, India and Pakistan for talks over dinner. She said common ground was found to support the peace and reconciliation process, and the EU will work to facilitate this in the coming months. But there remain divisions about if or when to include Taliban militants. Even if they were invited, it's unclear whether the movement would take part. They are on the offensive. Just this week, they planted their flag in the center of Kunduz, albeit briefly. They've also launched offensives in two other provincial capitals in the south of the country. Meanwhile, outside the conference in Brussels, hundreds of people protested over a new government agreement between Kabul and the EU to send home Afghan refugees whose asylum requests failed. The deal was not discussed at the conference today, but it certainly created controversy on the sidelines. Aid groups say the resurgent Taliban and recent suicide attacks in Kabul are proof that Afghanistan is not a country which is safe enough to return refugees to. The European Union is pressing Afghanistan to accept more repatriations, but officials stress that it is not a condition for receiving the aid pledged here today. Kate Parkinson, CCTV, Brussels.